guys, welcome and happy new year for everyone who just starting the year. Happy new year. I hope you had a great break, great holidays. And today we're starting the new module. The module is not going to be AF6. I decided to change it and it's going to be GF1, Game Fundamentals 1. And today we have the first lesson, the first introduction to what we're going to talk about this first module on this new year, which I'm extremely, extremely excited. I can't wait to start sharing this stuff. But before that, just going to go over some housekeeping stuff. I see there's a lot of free members and I'm going to leave this beginning of the video for everyone to watch. There are a lot of free members there. As a free member, you can watch the trailers and occasionally i'm gonna post some videos but the membership tiers patreon changed the system so it's a little bit hard to keep track but you need to sign up for one of the membership tiers to have access to the videos i'm gonna have a slightly change on the animator 3 membership it's gonna include more things and the price is gonna go up by two or three dollars i'm still checking how it's gonna be but that's gonna be coming Later, I think it's going to be $11 or $12 instead of 9 in US dollars. Patreon converts automatically for the currency of your country. So that's the other housekeeping. And if you are a feature animator and you're worried like, oh, I'm not going to, I don't want to do gameplay animation. I want to keep focus on feature animation. That's where the tier animator 3 and up will benefit you because I'm gonna bring back the bonus videos and the bonus videos are gonna be about feature animation and I'm gonna bring it back the voting so we're gonna have voting and we're gonna have more freaking bon bonus videos I'm still deciding the cadence but it's not gonna be so sporadic and there will be a voting it's gonna be towards feature animation feature polish lip sync things that we're not gonna see in the gameplay module so that is coming soon which is very exciting if if you sign up now i believe you just pay later on whenever the price changes so if you want to sign up now is a great time because this video is just live and the price is going to change only next week so i'm going to give a buffer of like one week for you guys to watch it and the bonus videos the first voting is going to drop also this week which is exciting i'm talking to some uh, rigging partners so, so I can make like discounts for better rigs, offer some rigs for the Platinum and Academy students and to use on the demos I'm gonna be using those rigs so we can unify a little bit more the style. Hina it's it's, it's, it's getting there, the rig is still adjusting, Rigger is getting busy, it's on vacation and stuff but Hina is getting there, also it's gonna be available for the Platinum plus members, Platinum Academy so those are the main things but now let's start introduction to gameplay animation this first module gf1 we're just gonna talk about gameplay animation and during my break i did an extensive research uh, i i am a gameplay animator today at riot games whoever doesn't know me whoever is new here on patreon that's the way the patreon works we go by modules and each module has a theme and we're gonna start a new module that is intro to gameplay animation right here and for me i was at dreamworks for almost three years before that i work on other feature films and the most the latest movie i worked was the bad guys uh, last year now i'm working at riot games on league of legends as a gameplay animation animator but on League of Legends we use a proprietary engine, not Unreal. But because Unreal is free to use, of course I cannot share the proprietary engine and I think it would be much more beneficial for you to animate and see things in engine. This module will be using Unreal Engine 5. I have an at the moment today, the day I'm recording this video. I have the version 5.3.2. We're gonna go over the requirements and everything, but during my break and uh, between modules, module AF5 and GF1, I took like an extensive research YouTube trying to learn 
code and I made a project like a game project that we're gonna be following along and the focus will be in animation but I think it's extremely important that you understand how to hook it up and understand how things can change in game so you can count with that when you're animating in the end you're still gonna be an animator you're still gonna animate in Maya you're still gonna export your demo reel from the assets you animate in Maya but we're gonna check it to make sure things are properly hooked up in game so that's gonna be our new module which I'm extremely excited so let's just jump in I have a quick presentation here and then we can keep chatting about it cool uh, we don't need this we don't need this game fundamentals one so that will be introduction to gameplay animation and I plan to expand this we'll see we're gonna have like a few live streams coming up this coming months so what are the goals and objectives for this module first understand the difference between feature film animation and gameplay animation how both of them can be very different two produce high quality animation assets for in-game content because I feel like a lot of the times when I was looking at tutorials and stuff everything was so rough in the animation side instead of being so like a lot more polished and it's so hard like people don't focus in the animation assets as much as they focus on the gameplay and the game design aspect of it so we're gonna be focusing on like really making the animation stand out in in a gameplay environment it's not gonna be motion capture it's not gonna be realistic it's not gonna be uh, at least on my game of course you can use the same principles to your game different games but the style I chose it's more animation driven three a real engine 5 implementation animation on Maya just I'm just listing here that we're gonna use Unreal Engine 5 for the implementation it is a heavy software so make sure your computer meets the requirements you can go on Epic uh, Epic Games website and check the requirements if it doesn't fit the requirements you can always just animate the assets and make a demo reel without having to hook it up in game but it's always good to if you can it will be good but if you can't it's also not a problem you can have a demo reel without needing to put stuff in in game to show it and you're gonna be following along and understanding the differences between like putting in game and what we're tweaking in the animation based on the game results and you don't need to animate on Maya you can even animate on Unreal Engine you can animate on Blender any software what matters is that we're exporting and putting in game in Unreal but several softwares can animate like Blender uh, Cinema 4D, 3D Max, Maya, even Unreal has a new animation system that they're pushing pretty hard to be the animation done in there. So you can use any of those systems and that will be fine. We'll be using Maya because that's how the industry still works. That's how I'm working currently, animating Maya and putting on League of Legends. And that's, I think that's the main focus. So if you don't have a Maya license, there is the indie option that is pretty cheap to buy for the year. Uh, I try to t contact Autodesk to get a student's license, but because Patreon, the way it works, like even with the $1 membership, I cannot offer the student license. Maybe I'll be able to offer in the future for the class students, but they ask for like some documents and stuff. Unfortunately, I cannot offer the student version of Maya. I feel like a lot of people would pay also one dollar to get the Maya license that's what Autodesk is trying to avoid so the indie version is the best option if you want to use Maya or Blender or Unreal you can also use it so that's it about software for understanding how to make it better after evaluating in game that's like one of the main things because a lot of people animate for game but they have no idea how it's gonna look and then and that's how I feel like a lot of stuff is done by a technical animator and not by the animator and or a game designer so the process is kind of like broken down the animator has no idea 
like if you anticipate and you're using like four or five frames to anticipate where you actually could benefit from using the blends instead of using the anticipation frames so a lot of that stuff we're gonna test it in game and like okay that's how it looks in game that's what we need to tweak in Maya to get the animation working and five have a strong understanding of gameplay animation skill sets needed to get a job in the industry that's the main goal after we finish this this is just the first module of a series of course but that's the main goal of of the module like understanding what gameplay animation is and you start having the skills that like okay now I know what I need to do now I know the skills that I need to be able to get a job in this industry of course we're not gonna go over character intro finishers etc etc this is just introduction don't expect that we're gonna do like a huge game no this is gonna be a small game project but let, let's keep going and then you will see so requirements my camera is like right on top here of the requirements requirements Unreal Engine 5.3 the one that I'm using right now 5.3.2 you can download it free through the Epic Games marketplace so you go on Epic Games type Unreal download you're gonna see the Epic Games launcher like here and then you go on library Unreal Engine you go on Unreal Engine Here's your library of games. There's the store for. Oops, click the wrong. Here's the store for the games. Here's the library of games, and then you have Unreal Engines. Here I have like news, samples, marketplace, library. Click on the plus, and you're gonna get the latest version of Unreal. At the time, 5.3.2. So you can have the the installation. It takes some time, but it's there. It's free. Make sure, like I said, make sure you're computer supports Unreal Engine 5, UE5 and that's it for the engine the rigs, we have a few options here I'm gonna be using the QFiggins store rig Melee it is a paid rig, $35 so just be aware that whenever I share the project files and things like that I will not be able, I will, I'll share the Maya file without the reference because I cannot share a paid rig just remember that if you have access to the files you need to purchase the rig to be able to reference it in but that's that's the rig I will be using but there are many rigs here on the QFiggins store and on Agora community assets and then I'm gonna go over I'm gonna open the website and then we can go over like I said we don't need to animate on Maya but animation will be done in Maya and imported on Unreal 5. Perfect. You can also use the same concepts and import in Unity or any other engine if you work on a company and you use your own engine like the way I'm working right now. A lot of the knowledge that I'm sharing is because of my experience working with gameplay. So it's not like it, it, I work with a different engine. It's not like engine specific I work at a different engine and I can still have this knowledge about how to make the game work better cool now let's go to the breakdown this is very important I'm gonna share this uh, this presentation with all of you on discord as well but here's the breakdown all the lessons are designed with the homework assignment the homework is very important if you do the homework, you'll make the difference on the final result of the module because you're going to understand what I'm going over and you can follow along. Animator 3 and Plus will have access to the Unreal projects so you can easily follow along. That's the main difference on Animator 3, like I was saying. Animator 3 and any tier up, you're going to have access to the Unreal project so you can actually just plug in the assets and you don't need to recreate the project in Unreal because just even gonna come back here just to make sure I will not teach game design I will not teach you how to make the blueprint to make the game work I will not teach Unreal blueprinting game design what I'm gonna teach is animation for Unreal that's what the module is about so we're gonna be using this project that I made with all the blueprints are done I'm gonna go over state machine and how things are hook, hook it up but I will not make the like the code or the blueprinting process 
of like creating the character, inputting character movements, left click, right click, etc, etc. Just to make sure this is clear from the beginning because it, it is not a game design class. If you want to take a game design class, there are like many nice like YouTube tutorials, Patreons, there are a lot of like game design content, but here's going to be specifically animation for game. That's why I made the project in Unreal and that's why I'll be sharing the project with whoever wants to follow along or you can create your own project. Cool. I just wanted to make this uh, clear because I don't want you to get the expectation that I'm going to go over blueprinting, creating a camera, linking the camera to the character, offsetting and all those codes. We're going to have an overview today of everything I did in Unreal. So if you're animator one or two, you can do your own at, at your own time. But just make sure we're going to focus in animation. Cool. So lesson one that is today, how to think game. We're going to go over that, understand the basics of Unreal 5, an overview of our projects, which we're going to go over just right after this presentation. Planning out our game and demo reel. And that's going to be our goal today, to just plan out like what is going to be the game about, how is the game, and how can we make a demo reel from that. And the homework, just get your setup ready, get Unreal, get the rig, get Maya, set project on a specific folder, get everything ready so we can start next week. And then we start lesson two, idle pose. Idle pose is the most important pose of your character in this to show personality. The character will always rest on this pose. So we're gonna craft this idle pose, we're gonna record reference about the idle, and then we're gonna block a basic motion. But that's what's gonna show the personality of our character. And the homework is just starting your idle pose. Idle animation, we're gonna spline and polish the idle animation and how to make sure it doesn't look floaty, it has weight and it looks nice in game. And this is the first time we're gonna export an asset and bring it in game and play in game to see how it's working. Polish the, and the homework is to polish it and put it in game to test it in game. Lesson four, we're gonna go over walk cycle. How to plan walk cycle animation walk cycle with personality we're gonna put personality on our character making sure the character feels unique and from for the purpose of the game and the homework is blocking a walk cycle and then lesson five we're gonna continue polishing the walk cycle with personality we're gonna export it to game and evaluate it if it's working properly in game because there's always like if the walk is lighting in game, if you need to talk, like make it faster, make it slower, if it's if it's like swinging nice, etc. So we're just gonna like go back and forth in game implementation, back to Maya re-exporting, and the homework is just polish the walk cycle. And then on lesson six is gonna be our most technical lesson of this module. That is gonna be the in-game implementation. We're gonna implement the walk cycle run cycle and idle using the state machine and we're gonna tweak the animation if it's necessary but we're gonna make sure we have the, an idle pose the idle can go to the walk pose the walk can go to the run after you click a certain button so that's gonna be mostly unreal so idle walk and run we do not have a homework for run but that's an extra if you want to follow along and make a run cycle that will be an extra between lesson four and five. If you have an extra time, you can just make a run cycle. I will use a temporary asset or I'll just block it out something quick. Maybe in a live stream or something, we can decide it between those weeks. But the homework is just gonna be making this game implementation. Make sure when you click a button, the, the character walks to one side, walks to the other side, and when you press another button, it changes the walk speed and triggers the run animation, and that's it. Lesson seven, we're gonna work in transitions. We're gonna make an idle to walk, so the character is on the idle pose and starts walking and walk to stop. So the character is walking, stops, and how to implement that in game. And the homework is gonna be make the transitions in Maya, implementing game. 
And then we have a break week. Oh, instead of lesson eight, we're gonna have a break week. We're gonna have a live stream. I'm just gonna talk about how it is. Well, how are you guys feeling? If you have any questions, anything to share. If you saw that my project in Unreal, it's dirty and it could be cleaner in some ways, etc. Because I'm not an Unreal expert, so I'm excited to see whoever is more familiar with Unreal to tell me like more optimal ways to do different ways to do certain things, etc., etc. That will be a fun, a fun break for us. There will be no homework for this lesson, so nothing to worry here. And then we're gonna go into lesson eight. That is gonna, we're gonna start planning our attack combo. We're gonna have a combo of attack. It can be two hits, three hits, four hits. I'm gonna teach how to set it up no matter how many hits it is. I think I will do a two hit combo. I don't know yet, we'll see. I have set it up as a two hit combo, but I'm gonna show how we can add more. And we're gonna plan it out record reference and block the main poses not gonna touch the game here we're just gonna be back in maya just focusing on animation just focusing on the animation assets and the homework is to plan your combo animation start blocking the main poses lesson nine we're gonna start to spline the spline the combo and organizing the file planning ahead on the thinking of the game play implementation because that's one thing we don't need to uh, open the game but it's important that we know how we how it works and what we need to change in Maya like okay this file is gonna be split like this because I'm gonna export here 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 etc etc that will be also pretty interesting just the mindset because even if you don't need to hook up anything you can still think like how things will be set up in game and lesson 10 we're gonna polish the combo, game export, and check it in game. We're not gonna implement yet, we're just gonna check it in game, the whole combo, just to see how it's feeling. And then we're gonna just focus on polishing it, exporting everything properly, etc. And lesson 11, we're gonna review all assets, just gonna make sure everything is working, and we're gonna make the game implementation of the combo and the review of the gameplay. The game implementation of the combo is gonna be also more technical, more in Unreal. We're gonna go over like how to implement, how to change things here and there. It's gonna be pretty interesting, but also it's gonna be different than the homework from lesson 10 is putting your attack in game. On lesson 11, it's gonna be implementing in game, which is different because you can just check an asset in game to see it playing, to see how it plays with the engine, motion blur, stuff like that. And you can implement where you click the buttons and the things are working with the input of the player. And the homework is to have the game ready because that's our official last lesson until we go to final lesson, question and answers, a summary, how to put together a game reel and sharing the learnings and knowledge. So this will be just the final lesson. It's probably gonna be a live stream or I, I want to get questions beforehand and when we start the live stream I'm just gonna go over like uh, answering the questions but this is gonna be probably a live stream or a question and answer pre pre-selected questions that I'll post on patreon and you can send a question over and I'm gonna also talk about like how to build a reel now that you have a game working how to build a reel because it's important you can it's gonna be boring if you record like a three minute video of your game working it's good to see like asset, animated asset, in-game asset. Cool. In the middle here, it's not gonna be every week, just so you guys know, those are the lessons. But in the middle here, I wanna bring uh, Benjamin Davis to talk a little bit about gameplay animation and our work on Huey from League of Legends. So it's not gonna be every single week, one after the other. Every week we're gonna have a new video, but it doesn't mean that's gonna be uh, lesson 12 is the 12th week from today because we're probably gonna have a live stream in the middle and we're gonna skip the lesson to the other week etc cool and that's it that's our module which I'm super super excited to start I can't wait I spent a lot of time on Unreal 
just trying to build this for us and it's looking I have to say it's looking pretty cool to be honest I think I think I I was expecting to to be a little bit less cool like just more like a prototype kind of thing but no it actually looks pretty cool which is what I'm gonna do it today I'm just want to get this over here first let's just go over a few things here on this so this is the key of figgins store 3dfigins.com slash store is the website and here you can find several game ready rigs they're usually $35 I believe and there are several several rigs I think there is something free here I'm not sure maybe not but you can get any of those rigs they will all work but like I said they're paid I'm using this one $35 and it's pretty cool I like I like the the rig it's gonna be a little bit annoying but the hair and the skirt but we're gonna think about some cool solutions for that and on Agora community if you go in Agora community and you just get here on the uh, If you get here software Maya and Blender category you can leave whatever but tags gameplay animation you have a Kali and game ready you have all those rigs and they're all free so you can use any of these rigs to also put it in game just make sure you know how to export we're gonna go over like exporting and stuff but just make sure like it works before you start animating everything just like put it in like install Unreal, export it, make sure you can import a skeleton and you can put it in I know this one works for sure because there's a tutorial that was shared last year by Ender from Skylar from Riot Games it's an Agora tutorial and he also makes like a third person game and he uses this rig so this one for sure works but there are some other ones and you can always just google like game ready rig and uh, maya rig or blender rig and you can see how it works cool and for unreal so i have the epic games launcher here you go over uh, so if you open epic games it's probably gonna open like this you click on the tab unreal engine my open like this on nils you go on library engine versions you click on the plus and i install the latest one currently 3.2 you click install it's gonna install and that's it you click launch and you're gonna start your project so this is the game that we're gonna work on now i'm gonna just go over the game I prepared for us to work on this uh, module it's gonna be a 3d side scroller that means that the character is only gonna walk from left to right right to left jump and attack so it's gonna be a 3d side scroller and we're gonna use melee and this is the project I will share with you guys it's right here I will not share the environment because it is a paid environment so it will be this project but just with the floor like just basic geometry here now with those plants and stuff and I'll quickly play the game here just so we can see I'm gonna put my camera on the other side so I don't cover yeah just so we can see character idle pose it's on idle idle to walk, walk pose, running as I press shift, walking the other side, I press shift, it's running, stop, if you press on this side, this side is turning, spacebar jumps, lands, double jump, lands, we're not gonna go over the jump during this module, but it is implemented in game, and then if you click once, one attack, if you click twice, 
it's a combo. So that's our game. You can also attack while you're walking. Everything is very rough animation wise because we're going to be doing the animation during the module. So I didn't worry about the animation. This is just the game implementation. So you can jump, you can run, you can attack. And that's it. There's still some bugs here and there that I'm tweaking, but you can see that the game is pretty much done. Which look and it looks pretty cool to be honest. Cool. And we're gonna go over quickly how like what is Unreal if you never open Unreal like me before before this. I opened Unreal once, Unreal 4, a couple years ago, and then I never opened it again. And then I opened again Unreal 5.3. And I opened Unreal 4 to do like one tutorial and that was it. And now I opened Unreal 5.3 I was just like, oh my god, what is this? What is this uh, place? I recommend you watching some tutorials online. Just like some basic w where stuff is in Unreal. But we have our viewport here. Even the, the way to move the viewport around is different. Middle click pans, right click uh, orbits, and left click just like walks around. It's weird. I, I, every time I'm just like doing this, like, oh, why is it not doing what what I'm not what I'm expecting? Cool. And we have the content browser. I like pinning the content, docking the content browser here, because I have the assets. And we have the blueprint. This is I use the third person blueprint to start off as a base, and then I built my own blueprints in here. So basically the jump input is here, the sprint left shift is here, I set those variables and movement input is here, still still missing one little thing here on this montage. Here's the attack input, there's the combo and like I said the combo attack one, attack two you can add more attacks and that's not gonna impact so you just keep adding more animation here uh, and here's the input mapping I got from the templates and I just removed two axes and I created a variable of the walk speed cool so if I select the character movement I tweak some values here so I can make the character by default walk at 400 and have the running variable go to 800 Oops. 800 cool on the blueprint in here we have the state uh, on the state machine we we'll have our entry and we have the states idle idle to run 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 to idle run to idle can go back to idle to run or go back to idle and everyone goes to jump there are many ways to set this up this is the Skylar I half followed the Skylar tutorial half figure out how to just make the states go around here but I think there's a better way to do this but I didn't do it yet this is working so we have jumping my character jumping character falling, character landing, so this is just the loop while the character is falling and that's when the character lands. And on the event graph we have the variables here, we're gonna go over a little bit this whenever we start with it, by getting the speed and getting the jump and getting the attack. And our assets are exported here, inside characters, melee, animations, and we're gonna have the assets, so I have attack 1 and that's my attack animation and here you can set up like blends and stuff like that idle animation and you have all the asset browser here we're gonna go over what a blend space is and what a montage is as well and we have the Idle, idle to run is a, also a good example. Run to idle. It's here. So you see how walking and then stops. 
very rough animation this will have like a nice recovery and then blending into the idle if you wanna test an asset like like I said like I we're gonna test it in game I wanna test my my idle in game I just click and drag here and you see like let me rotate this way and you see that it will just be there so that's how we're gonna test it in game our camera is set up to follow the character the player but you can always like create another camera or just I think you can just uh, oops. You can just go around and like move around this this character anyway but that's how we test it in game it's different than implementing implementing it's when we press play here and the character is actually oh, I shift F1. cool so this is our game hope you guys are as excited as me I'll keep iterating on this game on my own time for future modules I feel like we're still gonna go over a lot of stuff this intro is gonna be a lot of information don't be alarmed it is com complicated it is complex it's a different thing because it start getting a little bit more technical but it's gonna be really cool and I'm gonna keep iterating on this game so we can have like a really nice like a, a second module with like more details and stuff and the third module etc etc cool so that is the game that we're going over and now I want to talk a little bit about the difference between for example my main inspiration for this game was only only game play is it only ori sorry i forgot is it, it, yeah it's ori and the blind forest so that was like one of the, my main inspirations for this this style because a beautiful game the animation is fantastic and is a 2d side scroller but made with 3d assets so that's what we can do like the game is simple like what we're gonna do is simple but don't say like oh i can't do anything like whatever we're doing here the concept is the same for a simple game and for a more complicated game so yeah this is like a great reference always good to have reference another game that i love so you see like we're gonna be very basic about it but you can see how you can get a character make it alive and make it very interesting just by like just with the animation like pushing the animation and basically with what we're gonna do cool Another one that I love is Rayman, Rayman Legends. Uh, this one. Oh, I'm I'm just talking over, but not sharing the screen, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. So Rayman is a great reference. I'm gonna go back to Ori, but you see, like how the character. It feels like a 3D environment. The character is 2D looking, but you can always use like a flat shader for a 2D look. And then you have a walk. Basically, what we're doing: you have a nice walk, a stop, intro, a, a walk, a run, a stop, a kick, jump, and there's like some extra stuff. But basically, that's the kind of game we're going for here. And I'm so sorry for. Yeah, but this is the Ori and the Blind Forest I was talking over before from Moon Studios. Beautiful game and beautiful animation on this game. Super satisfying to play. If you haven't played yet, you should try it. Super satisfying and super beautiful game. And that's basically what we're gonna go over. 
slowly with our modules but that's just the introduction cool so but that's the thing it doesn't mean for example if we get the Red Dead Redemption gameplay like whatever we're gonna learn here the concepts are the same like character walking character running of course there will be more systems on a game like this but the the idea of, of the animation like how the assets are connected and how we blend between them and how we approach animation on these assets it is basically the same and of course there are like there are specific things for example for this game how you can put additives we're not gonna get into that like putting additives like it gets the gun is the same base animation but it's just the gun and stuff like that but you see like there's a walk you press a button there's a run you look around the character turns you stop the character stops you start walking the character start walking so that's basically what we're doing so a great introduction for gameplay and a demo reel I don't know if you guys saw but I did share engine in this his Ben share his Huey League of Legends Huey reel and it's a great way to display the Maya play blast and the in-game asset and you see like he's showcasing the blends walk cycle but you see like attack to blend activation deactivation activation deactivation and there's also the running version of those same with the attacks and then attack blend into walk attack blend into walk etc etc so that is a good reference there there are other examples as well you know bring this up because he's coming soon to talk with us so I just want to showcase a little bit so yeah but that's that's pretty much it before we wrap I just want to make sure everyone that is using Maya make sure to set a project on a folder where your scenes file is gonna be under scenes create a folder game export because the process for exporting is an FBX file so you're gonna export an F FBX make sure to have all of this organized on a project structure I can show my project structure as a reference for you to not get lost but I have it here on the screen I have anims here are my scene files attack idle idle to run jump run run to idle turn assets it's the rig that i'm using in case here i had to clean up the melee rig whoever is using it because it comes with extra props and i didn't want to delete those props in unreal so i just deleted in maya and had like a clean reference and I have a game export folder where I have all my FBX files. And whenever I like re export, you either overwrite or if I export a new one, I have an old folder where I just bring it back, like just put it there to not delete it, but just to make sure I have like not mix on everything. And the play blasts are gonna be on the movies folder. So that's pretty much what you need, but just make sure to like set a project to always bring the asset to the right folder, always save on the right folder and export on the right folder. Cool, but that's pretty much it. And I'm very, very excited to start this new year with this new module. Happy new year. I hope 2024 is gonna be an amazing year for animation. I think the industry is gonna get back to the spot it was before this it, it was a little shaky this past year in 2023 so hopefully it is gonna get better this year and i hope all you guys will be prepared for it this new hiring wave that hopefully will come and for 
all the feature film focus animators here we're still gonna have the bonus lectures where I'm gonna go over feature film animation I'm gonna talk about the partnerships I'm making with some rigging uh, companies so I can have like nice rigs as well so that's pretty much it happy new year I hope you guys enjoyed the break that you had but now let's start strong this year super excited like I said can't wait to start sharing about gameplay start having the bonus classes more content for all of you guys tweaking the the tiers to make sure everyone is happy and as always you have any questions or any concerns just feel free to message me anytime on discord and or anywhere any other platform for whoever is new here welcome and nice to meet you i'm very excited to go over with you on this new module and i hope to see you guys again next week thank you very much and happy new year